Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Two concealers that I used today. Um, so I used the Sharp, Sharp? The Tarte Shape Tape <laughs> and the Maybelline um, Eye Eraser. And both of these are my go-to concealers. Um, if you're looking for something um, from the high street and not too expensive, then definitely um, I'd recommend the Maybelline. Um, eye eraser, it's amazing, it's anti-aging as well guys, so just saying, um, it definitely does wonders, um, does wonders for me. Um, and the Tarte Shape Tape, um, if you are looking to fork out a little bit more, um, it's definitely worth it, a little bit goes a long way, um, and it's just super nourishing for the eyes, so I would definitely recommend that. So I'm just going to dive right in, um, I'm going to quickly just go and um, put some foundation on and, um, and I'll be right back for you guys. So today guys I'll be using um, Shape Tape by Tarte, um, I love this product, it has um, really good coverage, full coverage, um, it's creaseless and it has a very smooth finish under the eye. Um, it contains um, mango seed um, extracts and um, shea butter and all of these properties help it to make it very smooth, very nourished um, and moisturised, especially under your eyes. And um, the final, con um, one of the main ingredients I think is the licorice root extract and this helps um, brighten the under eyes, so it helps actually cover the dark circles quite well. So um, I'm just going to take this, I'm going to use the um, brush applicator side of this and do a few strokes under the eye. So as you can see I'm stroking it um, on a, in an outwards um, direction. So I've literally just done um, five strokes under the eye and that is plenty. Um, it has very good coverage so you don't actually need to use a lot of this product. When choosing your concealer, um, so I'm using medium tan neutral, but um, usually when you're using your concealer, I would say to use at least one or two shades lighter than your actual foundation tone, and this helps to brighten up the area. So I've just gone and um, concealed and highlighted the top part of my forehead. The reason why I've gone and done it in that specific direction is because Basically, depending on the size of your forehead, um, when you contour your forehead, you'll create a shadow on the top half, which I'll show you in a moment, very quickly. Um, but this area is the area that naturally has the light shining on there. So you want to just highlight this even more. So that's where you highlight. Um, it creates that illuminous um, effect on your eye. And then just highlight um, down the T-zone, so down onto your nose and onto the tip of your nose. The following areas that I'll um, highlight and will be just on the tip of my cupid's bow. Um, I also highlight with the concealer just on the bottom of my um, chin. And then I'll also just do a stroke underneath on both sides of and um, just above my jawline. Um, this helps to also highlight these areas, so I'll I use the concealer to do this. So the concealer can be used as a highlighter as well. So um, both of these work together to brighten the areas which you have chosen. So these are the areas that I would tend to usually highlight and conceal. And this um, basically just creates like a very nice um, 3D effect to your face. So it doesn't look matte and it doesn't look um, one toned and um, it just yeah, brings your face out very nicely. I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender um, and literally just press in the concealer into my skin and just bring it right up to my eye and just dabbing it and back in and the same with this eye so I've just finished um, blending in my concealer on my face um, I'm gonna quickly just contour my face and Hi guys, so as you can see I've gone in and I've completed my contouring and I've set my cream contour with powder 
and um, you can now really see exactly where I've highlighted my face because those are the parts that actually do look brightened up. Um, what I'm going to go in, so one of the other concealers that I really like to um, use is the Maybelline um, Eraser. It honestly is just amazing. Um, I use the shade Buff, um, so 08. It comes with the applicator on the other side, so which is quite nice when you're applying the concealer. And I tend to do this sometimes when um, I'm going out for, um, and I'm out for a, quite a long night, and um, I basically I'm exaggerating my um, concealed and highlighted places. So once I've gone in and I've put my um, Tarte concealer on, I would um, literally put a few blotches just under the eye area and in my eye area and just basically everywhere I put the concealer, the Tarte, conceal um, Tarte concealer, I would go and put this on top and this basically amplifies that highlighted effect. Um, the reason why I use um, go in with this um, concealer is because I love also the finish that this gives. It's um, super hydrating and um, super pigmented. It's got goji berry extracts in there. So it's very nourishing also for the skin and it just keeps it very hydrated. So you have that creaseless feel on your um, concealer. So I'm just gonna go in and blend that in to the skin with the Beauty Blender. And As you can see, that's just amplified the effects of the highlighting and concealing that I did. Hi guys, um, so I've just literally gone and completed my eye makeup and um, just before I did that I set my under eyes. Um, I just used the Spectrum um, A04 brush um, and I literally just applied my um, setting powder just under my eyes here. Everywhere where I set it, um, um, applicated my concealer, I've just gone and um, set this in. So I'm just gonna um, blend this away. So just buff that all off. The setting powder I used was the Laura Mercier. Um, I absolutely love this setting powder. It literally just sets your makeup so nicely and um, the best thing is that it literally just gives a photo finish to your skin. So I've just set that in. I'm just going to go in and um, go over the setting of my contouring. So I'm just using the Benefit Hula. I absolutely love this um, as a bronzer, it literally does wonders. So I've just set that all in guys. Um, I am now just going to add a little bit of, um, I'm just going to add a little bit of blusher to my face because I look quite pale right now. Hi guys, so I've literally just gone and put on a bit of blusher and done my lipstick. Um, I am going to show you now how I do my highlighting. So I, I'm going to use the Anastasia um, Amorezzi. I absolutely love this highlighter. It literally does wonders. My Inglot um, 6, 6, uh, 6SS um, brush and um, highlight with this. My, I'm tongue twisting my words today. I can't get them out properly. So I'm just going to... Um, Get a little bit of the highlight onto my brush and tap the excess off. And then just on the tip of my cheekbones, I'm just going to rub this in very slightly with small strokes because it's so pigmented that you only need a very small amount. As you can see, like it literally shines through. Um, and then I'll just go on the tip of my nose on my T-zone and highlight that and then the same on the opposite side small strokes literally just need a little amount small amount does wonders here 
and then I kind of like take this all the way up to the side of my temples and just very slightly add some to the top and then I also just bring highlight my um, the art of my eyebrows and then the tip uh, and keep it bow and that's basically how I would highlight I'm just going to also highlight the inner corners of my eye so I'm just going to do that there on both sides just to finish off my eye makeup I'm just going to quickly go in and with my Inglot 29 MP0 with a slight shade of brown I'm just gonna literally brush this under my eye on both sides Please don't start watering. And then I'm just going to use my Benefit mascara and literally, girls, this mascara is the bomb. Honestly. I absolutely love this. It's the Bad Girl Bang by Benefit and it is honestly the bomb. I'm not even joking. I don't have um, big eyelashes. And this is honestly, it's just, it's just, it is just the bomb, like honestly. So that is the finished look. I do hope that this um, video has been helpful um, and um, if you do have any suggestions or comments please don't forget to comment below and guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for listening and watching guys. Bye!